We've got an interesting story today, my brothers and sisters, an interesting story indeed that Jay-Z has got himself involved in, again, something mocking Jesus Christ. So interesting, so interesting because many people still think that Beyonce's a Christian, which is his wife, but he just continues to do different things that's mocking Christ. Am I wrong? Am I right? I'm sorry, but if my wife is something else and she's doing things to mock my Lord, it's done. It's a wrap. It's over. It's over. So the fact that Jay-Z continues doing things and people still think that his wife is a Christian. No. No. Let's look at this trailer, right, to this movie called The Book of Clarence that takes, uh, that's supposed to be taking part in... Um, Eighty thirty three. Let's check it out. Right, book clearance. Eighty thirty three. This guy right here, um, pretty famous actor. You know, he ends up seeing the Messiah. This is supposed to be the Messiah. He ends up seeing. He sees the Messiah doing healings. He sees the Messiah gain a crowd, and he says, "I want to be like that. I want to be like that." You know, in the future. And this guy says, "I want to be like that now." So he starts making up things. His friend ends up acting like he's blind and getting his sight back. The guy ends up getting a big crowd. And just, it's mockery. Real biblical stories, but mocking it. As if, you know, you could just be the Messiah. You know how many people acted like they were the Messiah before Christ came? Many. Many. You know how many people acted like they were the Messiah after Christ? Many. You can't just act like you're Jesus, my friends. And this is the interesting thing about this. Jay-Z continues getting involved with these, these situations. And I've said this before. I made videos on it before. Let's jump back into the depth of what's going on with these people. I wrote something the other day on my Twitter saying, stop singing songs of witches. Stop singing songs that are made by witches. You got Jay-Z here. You know, I told you guys about this whole situation with Jay-Z throwing up this sign. That sign is also the Masonic sign. The Masonic sign is also symbolic of the Satanic sign. I'm just, I'm praying y'all keeping up with me right now. Satanic sign is you know with the law do what thou wilt do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law love is the law love under will now you get a better understanding when people are out here talking about love is love instead of saying god is love they've been brainwashed to think that love is love but love without god is just an empty word so when you have people floating around and saying love is love love is love you know just who their god is it's not the almighty but they're being manipulated and infiltrated by a different spirit and it's sad it's sad but this is why people like me speak up different people speak up different people share things to put more light on people that are in a space of delusion because trust me when i tell you many Many are, especially with the environment that they grow up in, especially with the radio and the television promoting so much demonic activity. And I'm going to show a video on the next episode of this crazy demonic video that's number one in the world right now. So look for the next episode as well. But yeah, so do what the will should be the whole of the law. Love is the law. Love is the law. What kind of love? Imitation love, not God love. Imitation love because the enemy imitates. The enemy copies. That's it. The enemy cannot create. He just imitates things that God does. Right? Anton LaVey, throwing up that exact same sign that I just showed you, Jay-Z throws up. In case you thought I was reaching. Let's, 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 let's go down the whole line one more time. Jay-Z throwing up this sign. This sign, symbolic for the Masonic sign. The Masonic sign, symbolic for the Satanic sign. The Satanic sign also being thrown up 
by the man who started the satanic church. Are y'all keeping up with me? Anton LaVey, my brothers and sisters, the man who started the satanic church. Throwing up the exact same sign that Jay-Z's throwing up. Uh, listen, take heed to the message, because this is deep information. This is, this is hours of research information that is just getting put in your face in a matter of a 10-minute video. So please take heed to it. This is the type of stuff that gets unveiled to people. But after a long, you know, time of research, and then it's a, we're, we're able to show you in a short amount of time. So I pray you guys take heed to this message and don't just ignore it. Because the Lord will allow us to see things, but when we decide to ignore it, that's when we put ourselves in judgment. When we decide to ignore things that Jay-Z's doing or Beyonce's doing or these different people who are in these cultish situations and these uh, ancestor situations and these false God religious beliefs, when we ignore what the Lord is showing us right in our face and we continue to listen to them, we have put ourselves in judgment and we will be held accountable. We will be held accountable. Also, Hitler throwing up that exact same sign. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's just go a little further. Let's just go a little further. Because Jay-Z just opened up the exhibit, The Book of Hove. The Book of Hove. I've told you guys before, Jay-Z thinks he's God. He thinks he's Jehovah. That's why when you put Hova next to J, J next to Hova, it's Jehovah. You, Why would this man... Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hove. H to the Izzo, V to the Izzo. Huh? Y'all not seeing it yet? Hover. J. Hover. It's the same man who had the song State of Empire with Alicia Keys on his third verse saying, Jesus can't save you. Life starts when a church ends which brings me to the fact that he told his wife on his song family feud i told my wife the spiritual stuff really work so if this man's saying jesus can't save you life starts when the church ends but he also says the spiritual stuff really work if we put two and two together we know he, we know he's not talking about the biblical god so what is he talking about well, I just showed y'all the sign he was throwing up. I just showed y'all what he's a part of. Let's go a little deeper. DJ Khaled came out with an album called God Did. On that album, there was a song featuring Jay-Z. On Jay-Z-Z. On Jay-Z-Z. On Jay-Z's verse, this man said, these ain't songs, these is hymns, because I'm him. It's the Psalm 151, this New Testament. So he's making his own psalm. This New Testament. He, he not talk. I don't think you guys are understanding what I'm. What I'm this, it's the Psalm 151, this New Testament. So he's making his own psalm. He's, he's, he's creating a psalm. And saying it's a New Testament. Boy, oh boy. The Book of Hove. You you get what I like, this is demonic. Jay-Z's verses be demonic. This is why it, it, it may grab your spirit in some kind of way. This is why many people worship him and don't even realize they're worshiping him. Because he has spells in his verses this is wild this is why he said the spiritual stuff really worked this man has spells in his verses 
Listen to me. The seed is the word, the Bible says. Luke 8, 11 says the seed is the word. That word seed is the Greek word sporos, the Hebrew word zara. Right? Which means when we speak the word of God to somebody, we're engrafting the seed in them. We're engrafting the seed in their womb. We're, we're planting the seed in their garden. The word. The word gives life. The word that we plant because the word is the seed. So if we speak God's word to you, we're engrafting Christ in you and we're engrafting life in you. If you speak this type of seed in you, which is Jay-Z's seed, which is ultimately the seed of the enemy, you're now engrafting a dark. You're now engrafting darkness in you. Instead of this seed, you're engrafting this seed. Boy. Oh, my Lord. It's getting deep. I pray you guys are still paying attention. Instead of engrafting this seed that is God, that is Christ, when you quote things like this, when you say spells like this, even including his wife with that lemonade poem where she said, I wipe my menses with pages from the holy book, meaning she's meaning she's cleaning her time of the month with holy scriptures, like holy scriptures is a tampon. And these are the people y'all listening to. And grafting yourself with darkness. Jesus turned water to wine. For Hove, it just took a stove. He's talking about cooking crack. This, to quote Jay-Z, is demonic. I don't care... Listen, guys, we got to get more in tune in the spirit. We have to get more in tune in the light. This ain't it. I pray you guys wake up and these people's downfall begins. Actually, it already it, it's already begun. There's many people speaking up about this nonsense trash. I pray for repentance. I don't just say what's wrong and say the problem i pray that they come into repentance i seriously do because people like this are leading many many astray and it's sad share the video you guys um send some light to somebody allow them to see the truth i don't know if this video will stay up if it doesn't you can follow my patreon.com slash isaiah robin if you want to support you can also go here Amen and subscribe. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to stay up, but for those who do see it, amen, share it while it's up. Amen. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.